Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. And today it's time to do uh, a report on my recently bought Cattleyas from Landsbergen uh, from the beautiful hall. And this one is the first one. It's such a beauty, and it, the fragrance is fantastic. It's a bit sweet, almost rosily like uh, fragrance, but the blooms are also so pretty and so incredibly big. This was, this was the first one that I saw and I thought I need that one, I want that one, it's so beautiful. But I will uh, do a repot on, um, on all of them, but I don't think I'm going to show a film everything because my videos are uh, getting a little bit too long, I think. So I try to uh, make them uh, a bit easier to watch, if you know what I mean. So I will uh, do one with you guys and then probably film the root systems of the rest before I put them up. So let's start uh, on putting this one and uh, see what we have inside of that pot. So, and I uh, did put on my gloves. I laid the orchid down because these, they, all of them are very top heavy. They are so big and those blooms are so heavy. But uh, as you can see, the sun is shining at the moment. We have a bit of uh, rain, a bit of sun, a bit of rain. But it really fills up uh, the orchid room at the moment. So I'm very uh, happy. It's always so nice. But you also may hear some noises because I have a little bit of heating on in the ventilator just uh, to keep it around uh, 18 degrees and it's uh, between 18 and 20. So you may hear some noises, I apologize. But um, yeah, let's start on putting this one and I already see a beautiful new root tip there. So I really try to save that. And yeah, I'm going to first pull it out and see what we have. I hope. We have a nice root system, I think we have. We have some roots coming out of the pot. So I hope, but I probably will break some of them, which always happens, but yeah, it needs to come out. I want to give this a fresh new setup. This root is coming out and going, oh no, it's probably going there. I thought it was coming out and going in again, but yeah, there it is. Let's see if we can get her out now. Squeeze a little bit. Not yet. Let me see. Yeah, it should be okay here now. There we are. Well, this one has quite some roots, luckily. And some new root tips, as I can see. Yeah, it's almost there, so it's not uh, completely going yet, but could do some uh, freshening up. So I'm slowly taking off the bark, and those roots are breaking uh, quite easily, so I'm really uh, trying to take my time and uh, get it off. What do we have here? I don't know. So yeah, I'm probably going to speed this part a little bit up because it's going to take me a while. So I will uh, see you, uh, uh, talk to you in a bit, I should say. So before I continue, I just want to show you that here is a part of the rhizome. So this is a uh, division. That, that doesn't happen to, to me uh, quite often and most of the times I have young plants but this is obviously uh, a division. And it's a, beauty, a beautiful one so uh, I don't mind but yeah. This uh, rhizome is fairly deep in a pot so it uh, was fairly deep so I need to think about it but I will uh, give it some room. But yeah, that's, far, that's just uh, nice to let you sh quickly uh, show you guys. And I almost did forget to turn on the camera. I was already starting to give this a 
spray with hydrogen peroxide but I will continue, I wasn't finished yet Oops. don't want to be uh, to have my hands too close to that new growth new root and uh, a new eye I found there as well I will show it to you guys in a minute so, yeah. here, yes this is working so yeah we have let me uh, zoom in the camera I'm um, sorry, this was zooming out we have a new growth, a uh, new root there plus a uh, eye and it also it's a little bit thicker there so I think there's a possible eye as well but I've also found an eye here I hope you can see it so maybe that's a nice nice uh, light color still so I hope that will uh, I can encourage that to grow as well so it's in uh, in there right above my finger so that will be nice so several uh, directions of growth on this uh, beauty of course <laughs> very up close so I will uh, let it soak for a while in hydrogen and then uh, I will clean up the table and we'll be back and we're going to pot this beauty up so and I think we're ready to pot this one up I had this in a 60 centimeters uh, pot uh, also from Alo, the brand that I like to use and, but I put some lava rock in the bottom of this pot because this is such a heavy uh, top heavy um, arcade that I thought well <laughs> you want to have some uh, some extra weight in the pot to keep it at, uh, at, this plate, at its place and I also did uh, put in a stake let me adjust the camera a little bit um, I'm sorry something like that yes this is better I think so I have the first scoop of uh, big uh, pumice because I will, for the rest I will only use the big uh, pumice I think my cat layers really like that so uh, yeah, let's try to get her in a in a pot. It's a bit of a challenge, I think, but we will uh, succeed, of course, eventually, someday. <laughs> um, let me see. Try to put the roots around it a little bit, so it's a bit easier for me to uh, to get her in the middle of the pot and she's growing a little bit in an angle so yeah in the back I will put some more pebbles there in front a little bit more uh, pumice but oh, there's that eye so we need to keep an eye on the eye <laughs> that lower eye um, yeah I think something like this should do Slowly putting the uh, pumice around the arcuit, and especially here, I just lost my uh, my eye. That sounds strange. Uh, the eye of the plant. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, where are you? Because I just want to give it a go. Of course, at least try. Um, But I don't want to damage it, so I'm slowly. Yeah, I, I see it again. There it is. So, oops. give it a little bit more room. It's right there at the end of my finger. And the other one is quite high in the pot, so. But I don't want to pull the arcus any higher because of the roots. I want those roots in the pot. So I'm going to keep it like this and grab my. More, uh, more bigger pumice. Just need a little bit more here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip that part. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Yeah, we have some air gaps here. Uh, 
some air gaps here. I don't know if you will. could hear me, I'm sorry. I was a little bit focused, but we have some air gaps here, so I will uh, put in some uh, pumice there as well. But this scoop is a little bit too big. So I will quick, uh, quickly grab a smaller one. And see if we can... Uh, it would be great if I could pull the roots a little bit aside. Those are a little bit in the way. There we go. I could use three hands at the moment. <laughs> but... Just slowly, never give up, right? We will find a way eventually. There we go already. Wasn't that bad. Where is that eye? Okay, yep, yeah, there it is. Still visible. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I can pull her a little bit, but those roots will stick out of the pot. But for a Cattleya, that's not the end of the world. Yeah, I think this is a little bit better. Yeah. So I can uh, put in a little bit more Thomas there as well. Or again, I should say. So now I have a little bit more Thomas underneath the plant as well. And that's what I want is. Rhizome is very just above the media, so therefore it looks like I could put in way more uh, pumice, but I um, keep it like this because otherwise I will bury the, the rhizome in, in, the, in the pot and that will uh, create a heck of a lot of chance of rot. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of pumice in the back, and then I will grab my pebbles and I have it, I think quite nicely potted up for this arc. It was a little bit of a, a tricky one because of that rhizome, because of the two eyes it's growing, uh, it's about a bit of a climber, etc. So we had uh, quite a few challenges, but it's okay. And I will stake this um, K now. That makes my life a little bit easier. At least this is cane. Do I want to put more canes around there? No, I think this is okay. Yeah. Now we need the pebbles. It's still a little bit uh, top heavy, so I think, uh, I hope the pebbles will uh, make it a little bit heavier on top of the pot so the arc keeps uh, staying in place a little bit more. Just ordinary pebbles, from time to time shown to you guys, it's nothing fancy, but very useful and pretty if you ask me. I really like those uh, little pebbles. So, um, and of course, where is that eye? Oh yeah, it's there, oh yay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yay. Yeah. We will be fine, but it's a little bit, I put my finger above it. So, if a pebble falls down a little too hard, it's protected. And then I will manually, one by one, try to get them into place. So, that I will stay free. One pebble is annoying me. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Yeah, I think it's uh, going to be fine. Like I said, it's very hard, but I hope it will grow and then I could put a few more pebbles around it. Because the pebbles are not wicking, so they will not stay wet very long. And a little bit of sunshine again, that looks always uh, beautiful, I think, on the leaves, etc. But this is it. I will uh, give this a rinse, just to be sure there is not too much dust in the pot. Sh there shouldn't be, because I, I wash all my materials, of course, but you never know. Sometimes I ha do have a little bit dust again from moving uh, the media around. 
But this is the first one that I uh, put it up with you guys and I will now uh, do the rest and show you the roots uh, on those and then in the end uh, I will uh, give you an overview of all the cattleyas put it up. But this is what I'm going to do with all of them. So as promised we uh, will have a look at the root systems of the next ones. First I did this beautiful purple one. It's an absolute beautiful one and I think it's a very vigorous one. It's a very big plant and I can only find a few tiny bulbs here but not uh, more. So I, I really believe that this is one plant. It had a lot of moss in it so it damaged quite some roots but it had to be done because I need to get rid of the, the moss as much as I can and here and there you will see a little bit um, probably maybe a teeny tiny bit of moss but more some pieces of bark and I will leave them on because they will uh, be on top of the pot and I think they will do no harm but uh, because I had to uh, get so many uh, uh, material out so I damaged quite a lot of roots and cattleyas yeah they can be quite picky about it as is this one this is where the uh, white one with the yellow lip and it has a fairly nice root system but um, the bulbs are a bit shriveled so I think it uh, will enjoy a new uh, setup and the uh, media was getting old a little bit but on top we have some uh, bark left those pieces uh, are fairly new I think or at least fresh enough but I will leave them on as well most of it I did get off and I now have them both soaking in hydrogen peroxide so I can uh, put them up but this is uh, so far the root systems on these two guys and then we have another one this is the surprise orchid, the surprise cattleya, <laughs> and yeah, this is um, going to be pink with purple uh, flower wise, and also on the bulbs, it does show that purple color, uh, but also on the horizon, and I hope you can see it. So yeah, I'm not completely sure if this is the virus. It had quite a lot of roots, still has quite a lot of uh, roots left, but I did take off quite a lot as well. So I could take off the back part of the orchid. So yeah, this may be because of the color of the blooms also have that color showing up on the horizon. But I'm not sure. We, we will see. I will do, put some cinnamon on it and then I will start uh, potting this one up as well. And the table is a big mess as you can see. But uh, we are almost there. After one we have one uh, to go there. You can see the yellow one. Um, there <laughs> but um, yeah this uh, had a quite a root system but we had a uh, part of this plant was very low uh, yeah, borrowed in uh, in the pot so I had to cut off quite a lot and um, because I had a rhizome very deep in, in the pot I just sprayed it with the hydrogen so it has a bit of a uh, whitish glow around the roots maybe you can see it a uh, bit of foam almost because the hydrogen is really working I did uh, clean off the sheets around the base to encourage uh, new growth and this is uh, the orchid itself well the blooms I should say <laughs> but uh, yeah still a bit fragrant but I will uh, cut them off they uh, I filmed this uh, separately we have some I did the last one I think before this one uh, around uh, six days ago, maybe seven. So yeah, I uh, had seen the blooms. I have taken my pictures for my goats, and I will get them off to encourage new root uh, growth, new uh, and new shoots. But this is uh, almost uh, the last one. We have one to go, the yellow one, and then we have a look at them all potted up again. So, and this is uh, the last one, the beautiful yellow one. And this one had, uh, I think, if I remember correctly, less roots. But uh, still quite some roots there. Beautiful root system. And I hope I will, uh, will be able to uh, get them to um, branch. And it had a new root. And of course, that only one new root I, I uh, was able to knock off. Yeah, that wasn't... Ideally, so I hope, uh, yeah, I think I see another one just coming there. Just coming. Little root nubbin. 
but also this one had a uh, buried two pseudobulbs uh, very low in a pot but a nice clean rhizome I'm sorry I'm a bit, a bit out of focus beautiful white uh, rhizome so uh, no purple at all so that is very promising of course so what I now will do, I uh, let them soak a little bit in the hydrogen peroxide and I will get my media ready, pop those up and then we will have a look at all of them in the greenhouse and I will talk a little bit uh, about uh, my approach after I uh, did repot them and how I transfer them in uh, cell watering because I don't give them a uh, reservoir or straight away. So, uh, but that will uh, be uh, talked about a little bit more. I first uh, have to do some work and then we will back and uh, we will be in the in the greenhouse. And here are now the uh, cattleyas all potted up and I grab my water while we have a look at, the, at them. I put them here they will get some uh, sunshine if we have it and today we have quite a nice uh, sunny day but it's not as strong so therefore I can keep them now here. If it was in summer, spring, I wouldn't put them here because then they, uh, because they are all in shock. As you can see, we have in the middle already a uh, yellow leaf starting. Uh, that one was uh, uh, damaged, that leaf, so it wasn't that strong, I think. But anyhow, um, so yeah, these, these guys are now struggling and uh, they need some time. So you don't want to put more stress on them by uh, putting them in too bright light yet. Cattleyas do love bright light, so I get the uh, mistake that people uh, quite do, but um, because they want, they put them in the, in direct uh, sunshine after repotting, but uh, yeah, in my uh, my tip there is just to wait a little uh, until they are really established. So I have them on this shelf now, this lower shelf. There's nothing uh, uh, plant-wise beneath them. Yeah, some weeds here and there, but anyhow, <laughs> so I can now uh, flush them until I see. Uh, new um, roots uh, growing and the water will uh, come out as you can see and I can uh, keep doing this uh, from day to day or yeah probably every uh, three to four days I will do this until I see new roots growing inside of those pots or branches on top of them then they will go in these pots I have the pots already ready uh, for them and then I will give them a reservoir. But now they are, uh, like I said, in shock and they need some time. They uh, will be okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure they will, even though we have some leaf loss here. But you can see this one was uh, pretty damaged already. So maybe a bit weaker there. But I'm pretty sure they will uh, take off. But yeah, like I said, I put them in uh, quite some shock because they were in bloom. I cut out uh, of the blooms. I want to encourage root growth and that takes a while. And some are a bit quicker than others, and some will take a little longer. This is the one that we did the first, and that one had still has that root on. And I think it's continuing to grow, and I think that really next to it on the right side, you see a little green nubbin starting as well, so that's a good sign, of course. And now we wait, and uh, until they, uh, like I said, start making new roots, then I will do an update. Of course, and we will have a look at them. And then I'm probably going to put them up here, way right up here next to my, it was uh, for years my one and only biggest Cattleya, but she has now her sisters coming in. <laughs> so they will be joining her because they get quite a lot of light here. So that's it, but uh, for now. So uh, like I said, we will do some updates. Thank you guys, I hope this was interesting. I tried to film it as best as I could. And not to uh, overdo it. And we have some sun and rain now. So somewhere is the rainbow now. But anyhow, <laughs> thank you for watching you guys. And I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.